Jane here and a very warm welcome to my channel. Now, what we have for you today is a kind of a little bit of an experiment and it's going to take place over, you know, probably several weeks. Um, so you're going to see this video right at the end of the process. Um, but here we are at the start, or should I say almost the start, because I did um, the first part of what I'm going to explain to you um, actually last night and I had already sort of like got, you know, most of the way through it when I thought actually, you know, it'd be a good idea to put this on video. Now, if you um, saw my uh, April Easy Whim unboxing, you'll know the state that the canvases came in at. Um, they weren't very good guys. Okay, what I will do is I will link the video um, so that you can have a little look if you haven't seen it already. Um, I did contact them. So at the moment, uh, this today is April the 23rd. I did contact them, um, you know, basically the same day that I opened the box, which was at the Easter weekend. So it was the Tuesday after the Easter weekend before they got back to me. Um, the photos apparently that I'd sent them, they couldn't access. So I had to make them smaller. And uh, so I sent them back to them again. I also sent them a link to the unboxing. And uh, in the initial email that they sent to me, um, they said that all the canvases, I haven't got it open in front of me, but basically the gist of it was that all the canvases were quality control checked and um, that any damage is the result of the post, of which, um, you know, uh, <laughs> Yo, well, you saw it, guys. That's not the post. There's the, the postman didn't do that. The postman didn't do that. Anyway, um, I haven't heard from them since. So it's been probably about four days because I sent the resent the photos on the Wednesday. So it's now the Saturday. So it has been four days since since I resent them all the um the, the images. Uh, haven't heard anything back yet. But, you know, I may have heard something from them um, by the time this video goes out. So the upshot is what I'm going to do is uh, I've suspended. I haven't cancelled, but I have suspended my Easy Whim, um subscription for the time being until I know what's happening with these canvases. But I thought, well, as soon as I've got the canvases, so at the moment you're looking at the back of one of them. Um, I thought, well, what I'll do is I'll see if I can sort of like play around with it and maybe rescue it. So what I did was I chose I chose the uh, the one that had um, the least damage to it. If I can find my sheets, here we go. So this was the one that had the least amount of damage to it, which ironically is the image that I like the least. But you know. We'll, we'll we'll worry about that but you know i'm i'm not too fussed about that um so it was this one of these kind of what looks like little butterfly houses and butterflies and flowers it's very you know the image is a very pretty spring-like image but it's um i think it's a bit too busy for the canvas it's a 30 by 40. now what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn this over and i'm going to show you what i essentially did last night um you will notice that the back is a lot smoother than it was. Um, there was a massive crease here, which is flattening out. And there were also two large creases here. This one's kind of getting a little bit smaller. This one is still quite marked. But um, I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to show you what I did. So first thing I did was I took the cover off completely because having that big massive cover on there, I thought wasn't going to help the case of of trying to fix this um you know very much so i kind of i've, I've got some release papers down there I've, I've actually chopped the cover up into like a smaller bits and then just kind of work put it over section by section now as well as those creases there are a heck of a lot of rivers in this canvas an awful lot um actually some of which are starting to come out I did burst the ones down here 
but there were so many that I thought, you know, I, I could spend, you know, ages just, you know, bursting the, the rivers on this canvas. Um, so I kind of thought, when I come to work this up, and I will start to work it up, um, I will, um, I will just take it section by section and do the rivers at the same time. But saying that, I think um, putting the small sections on it, and then I've had it under a heavy board overnight, it is starting to, these rivers are starting to actually come out quite naturally. But, um, as I said, as I work on each section, what I will do is I will work on each river, each section, the rivers in each section at that time and burst them. Um, now, to do that, what you need to do is you need to break, basically break the um, the uh, double-sided adhesive. And you can do that in a couple of ways. Um, let me see. Uh, if you have them, uh, the sharp tweezers are really, really good for, for actually scoring through it. You could also use, where have I got one? Here we go. You could also use like a craft knife. But you need to be careful with that because there is a danger you could maybe press a little too hard with that and go through the canvas. What I've used is uh, one of these ceramic cutters that I had um, uh, floating about. Uh, there's a tiny, tiny, tiny um, blade in there. Um, I can press quite hard with that without any danger of cutting through the canvas. So this is what I've been using um to sort of like you know, you know i use tend to use a combination of um these tweezers and uh, this little cutting blade to kind of burst rivers and what have you in the canvas now let us look this section here the first major crease was was here in this part and um I started working on this last night and it's uh, actually starting to come out guys would you believe it would you believe it so what I did if I bring it up here it's here. actually it might be better if I, if I zoom in so just bear with me and I will zoom in okay so I've, I've actually zoomed right in now so you can have a better look so the first major crease was here, so down, down this section here. So what I did was I used this cutter and I basically cut the double-sided adhesive down here. Then what I did was um, I, I kind of tried to sort of, like, sort of like manipulate it slightly underneath. So I put my finger underneath to try and bring the crease up. So it was lying, you know, a little slightly more flat. And then I would put the, the um, I would, you know, fix the uh, cover paper on the top and kind of pulled it to the side slightly and pressed it down. So hopefully what had happened there, so I was hoping basically what happened there is that crease is now lying flat against the cover paper and actually, you know, you can see there it is still a little bit bumpy because essentially the canvas is is kind of warped um yeah you know I, I think that that's what the issue is it's just you know the this nature of this canvas it, it's not taken too kindly to be wound so tightly around those rollers and i think that's what's causing that bit of warping there um so you've essentially got this warped canvas uh but it doesn't you know i can't really feel a crease there anymore i can you know, a little bit but not massively so once i had um so excuse the nails i've been doing some gardening <laughs> um which i don't do very often but um let's uh get, get them out of the way okay, that's looking a bit better now um so yes the crease this is nice and flat well it's not nice and flat but it's a lot flatter than it was and this is where the crease is at the back. So, um, yeah, yeah, that's where the crease is at the back. So then what I essentially did was um, I took the um, bone folder and just, you know, again, 
this is you know pressed quite you know pretty hard down there just to make sure that that was getting flat and it was um it's as flat as possible to the uh cover paper so this is partly why i decided to do the cover paper in small pieces because i felt that that would make things a lot more manageable so if we turn this around um let me get this back in shot get a lovely picture there of my board uh okay so the next crease was here so i essentially did the same thing here it's looking a little better so you can't really see quite so much of a crease there i mean it is still there but you know not as pronounced as it was um, so i essentially did the same thing i cut down the double-sided adhesive with the ceramic cutter and then i put the ad the cover paper on the top to flatten it out nice and flat and then i um flipped it over and, and i pressed down the, the um press this down at the back here right. now this one here was the worst crease and this one still is looking quite bad. So, but same principle applied. Now you can actually, I will bring this maybe a little bit closer if I can. And you know, if, if I angle it, it's not focusing brilliantly, but you can, I think, just make out, you know, the crease. So again, same thing uh cut it with the with the cutter and um try to sort of like flatten it out a little bit underneath with my finger and then put the cover paper on the top flatten it out Over it goes. And then use the bow folder to flat out a little bit again. So uh, looking marginally better, I think. But it does still seem to be pinging back into play. You know, that crease still seems to be pinging back a little bit. So what I'm going to do, it kind of looks a bit better, kind of looks a bit better. Um, what, I'm going to, what I'm doing now is I'm leaving this under something heavy um, for a few days. Um, so after 24, or not even 24 hours, after about 12 hours, uh, there, I, did not, I have noticed quite a significant difference on the sort of smaller creases. On the larger one not quite so much so yeah that will go under something heavy for a few more days and then uh, yeah we'll start to put some drills on it and we will see um let's go put over again we will see um we will see how it goes but yes uh whether or not i will have the time and the patience to try and do it on one of the other canvases uh, because they were very, very, very badly creased. Um, I don't know, but um, yeah, I thought I'd, uh, let, well, let's put it this way. I can't do any much more damage to them than, um, than they are, than <laughs> it's been done to them already. So yes, um, hopefully, um, uh, I'll get, get back to you, well, I mean, hopefully I'll be able to tell you later on in the video um, what's happening with the Easy Whim um, and, and their response to to the uh, the poor canvas. I did have um, somebody comment, uh, sorry, um, I can't remember who it was, but I did have somebody comment on another one of my videos 
that they had received um, their Easy Whim canvases. Uh, they're also a subscriber, but they've been a subscriber longer than I have. They've been a, a subscriber for a couple of years and uh, their canvases came in the same state as mine. And uh, and it's the first time that she's ever had canvases like that. So I think, um, you know, I think that there's there's an issue there with, with the company. I think there's an issue there with the canvas quality. Um, the canvas does feel slightly different to ones that I've had previously. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I think there, there there's a few questions to, to, to answer there from the company's point of view. Uh, I don't know whether anybody else has experienced, um, you know, the same problems, but I'm sure the more people that contact them about it, um, the more likely things will get done about it. But anyway, um, I will come back to you um, in, well, it's going to be probably a couple of weeks time in, in real time for me, um, by which time I should hopefully have heard back from them and I should know more firmly what's going on. Um, but it will only be like a few, a few seconds for you um, because I'm going to get this, uh, under something heavy and then I'm going to start uh, to drill some of the areas where the creases were. I'm not gonna, I probably won't do the full thing, um, I don't know yet, maybe, maybe not, but um, I'm certainly going to put drills down on the areas where the creases are and um, or where um, or appeared <laughs> and uh, see how, how it looks with the drills on it. Anyway, uh, see you in a minute. Okay, welcome back. Um yeah i've uh, made a start on uh this uh easy whim canvas the least creased out of the ones that i got in my april box so um quick update on the easy whim situation uh the website's been down for the last month um yes this is about a month after our last uh film the last um the first part of this video um i just i couldn't face looking at these canvases i put them in the um I hung them up on my, in my cupboard and I did things that gave me joy and made me smile instead of made me tear, make my tear, make me tear my hair out which is what this, these ones have, have done recently but yes easy whim website is down and it has been down for the last month they are not answering any emails there is nothing going up on their Facebook group or anything so basically incommunicado eh well not really a surprise if you think about it anyway um yes um the other thing i want to do is actually apologize for my light um my main light that i normally use has uh, it, it popped it exploded on me the other day um while i was shooting a video funnily enough well it didn't actually explode but um yeah it gave it finally died gave up the ghost um but yeah so i'm working at the moment until i get a new light with um we see this it's a little plug-in thing it's plugged in with the usb into my computer um but it is actually quite powerful so yay anyway um all that aside look at that shine all that aside um yes this is this easy whim canvas with the butterflies and flowers which was the least um damaged of the canvases that i got so, um, and this was the area here with the deepest crease. So if we zoom in, um, uh, let me move this slightly and let's zoom in a little bit more if we can. So this here is the bit that had the deepest crease and you can still see the crease there. The drills are though lying actually quite flat I have, um, so I'm working small section by small section. And when I say a small section, I'm talking maybe about, I don't know, less than 10 by five rectangles, you know, 10 centimeters by five centimeter rectangle size, less than that, maybe more like eight by five. So fairly small sections. And as I'm doing each section, I'm scoring through all the rivers that are there because there is a multitude of rivers. Um, so, for example, um, uh, this is the next section I'm going to work on here. 
I have actually scored through all these rivers. I mean, you can see them. They're showing up really well, actually, on the camera where the, the rivers were. I have scored through them all. They are laying nice and flat. But, I mean, you, you can see where they all are. You can see where they all are, and it's really bad. But, yes, um, so this section here was the one with the deepest crease. If we turn it over, oops. You can still see evidence of the crease. Oh, look at the size of my finger. You can still see evidence of the crease there. Um, but as I said, the drills themselves are actually lying pretty flat. It's a good job it's around. I think if it was a square, um, it it you know I, I would have major issues. Um, but we will zoom out and you can see um, the whole thing. Um, so excuse the mess on the desktop at the moment and because yes i am working on this just sort of reposition it slightly oh my arm's not wanting to play ball hold on that's a bit better right so yes uh light's not great when you get up there that's better so yes i mean it's you know, it looks fine from um, from a distance. It is pretty pixelated, though, when you look at it close up. Um, uh, Cindy, what do you think? Because you've got this one. Um, yeah, it's OK. It's OK. I've got another couple of sections with deep creases um, up here in this sort of area. So, um, yeah, I'll work on it. I'll finish the canvas um, and yeah. Uh, I will, um, the next section of this video you will see will be, um, yeah, of the completed canvas and my final thoughts, um, uh, on, on the whole thing, whether or not, um, I do the same with the other canvases, which were really, really bad. Um, yeah, I don't know yet. I don't know, but we'll, we'll see about it. This, this one wasn't too bad and it seems to be working okay at the moment. Anyway, um, I will uh, yeah, sign off here now and I will be back in a few seconds uh, with the completed painting. Okay, cheerio. So here is the completed painting. Yes, I did say I was going to drill it. I did say I was going to finish it. Yeah, true to my word, I have done it. Um, excuse the grottiness around the edges. Um, I haven't put washi tape around it yet because I kind of wanted to show you some of the puckers. And if I put washi tape on that, that would probably, um, you wouldn't see them quite so well. Anyway, let me flip this over and you can see the back because it's easier to see the creases, which are still there in the back. So um, what I'm going to do is we're going to zoom it down a little bit or I'll bring you down a bit. So you can see here, there is still a crease. Here, there is still a crease. I don't know how obvious it is. Uh, it's going a bit more. That's maybe a bit better now. So here is a crease. And here is a crease. Oh, sorry for the scraper. And uh, there we go. here is a crease. So the creases are still there. They didn't come out. Um, they reduced in size, but they didn't disappear. However, I think really because this is around, I've got away with it. Um, where the creases are, <clears throat> if you run your finger over, if I, if I run my finger over the top, I can feel the bumps. So here, for example, and you can just make out that like a little dimple down there. Um, I can feel that. Um, let's hope you're not feeling ill me swizzing all these around. Uh, at this side is here, there's, there's a crease here. I can feel the bumps that it's not even. And here I can feel bumps that it's not even. You can, where's this one? This is probably the worst one. Don't know whether you can make it out. I mean, you can see, I think you can just about make out here that the drills, there's a pale kind of grey and a darker taupe. And you can see the taupe one um, 
to the right hand side of the pale grey it's at a little bit of an angle so I'm talking about these drills here um, so that's where the crease is and again here I think you can just make out here there we go gosh my fingers absolutely massive just about here you can see uh, where the crease is um, let's go back out again and we'll move up so you can see the whole painting um, so yes uh, as you can see when you zoom right in you can see where the creases are still um, I did um, get rid of all the rivers um, I worked small section by small section and I got rid of the rivers in each of the small sections um, if this was a square um, I don't think it would have worked I think the drills would have popped everywhere um, rounds these being rounds they are a bit more forgiving a bit, bit of muck here the rounds are slightly more forgiving uh, very more forgiving actually um, so I've kind of got away with it will I try and fix the other canvases that is the $64,000 question don't know don't know I'm tempted I'm sorely tempted yeah sorely tempted mm, might, I'll, uh, I'll think about it I will think about it but um, this one had three big creases it was riddled with rivers and actually it's not a great painting because it's, I think it's too small for the size it's a 30 by 40 or a 40 by 30 should I say um, very pixelated when you see it um, from the with, you, you know close up or with the naked eye but through the camera it's not quite so bad uh, yeah um, but you know it just proves that even with creases and rounds if you can take your time with it it you know you can providing it's not too badly creased uh, get a painting out of it and um, it will just go into my portfolio and nothing else will happen to it anyway um yeah um i'll be back in a minute because i've got uh something else um easy whim related to uh show you okay um i don't know how many of you um have been around long enough to remember this painting um so this is another easy whim one um actually no problems with the canvas although it has kind of warped a bit here i think it was just the way i was storing it yeah no problems with the canvas on this one what happened with this one was i ran out of drills i ran out of um m here which was three three four seven and this was back in march and i had a little look back through my emails on the 29th of march i emailed to let them know that i had run out of drills and they responded and said, yeah, we'll, we'll get them shipped out to you. I heard nothing. Nothing. Today is now, now the 28th of May. So we're talking three months later. Through the post today, I got this. I have opened it because I had a feeling it might be what I thought it was. And I was right. It's my 3347 drills. Would you believe it? And round as well, so they've said the right ones. So yay. Um that was totally unexpected. So here have I been dissing Easy Whim for the last month because of that really rotten canvas quality that we got in the last box um I, as far as i'm aware i haven't checked this morning but as far as i'm aware um, the website is still down um they are you know updating their store is, is the message that's on it uh and that was a couple of days ago i think was the last time i looked on there um but yeah you know i don't know is it too little too late <laughs> I did get my drills and uh, I'm able to finish this picture and I actually quite like this picture so um, yay! <laughs> I'll call that a win. Um, I'll call my, my patched up canvas there um, a little bit of a success. Um, 
uh, the other two canvases that I've got. Well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how, how I feel about it. So there is going to be a little bit of editing magic going on. I've inserted this little clip um, because I, uh, I thought, hey, why not place the last few drills together? <laughs> um, there is just that little section there. There's probably about, I don't know, 20, 30 drills still to place. So, yay! Why not do it with you? I needed to get a pair of scissors to cut these little bags open. I wonder if this is how their bags come and then they, you know, if they manufacture them like that and then just put them into the little um, Ziploc bags because that's normally how easy when um, send their stuff out. I uh, hope there was enough wax in this pen. I was using this yesterday and then I just put it to the side. Um, so there should be enough. But as I said, yes, it's a, I will call this a, a victory. A small victory, but a victory nonetheless. <laughs> So um, I've had a couple people um, comment on videos, um, their experiences of easy whim. And yeah, I'm, I'm not the only one who's had problems. And um, well, it's kind of explanatory, but um, they have... Uh, temporarily close their store or close their uh, I don't know whether it's temporarily or not apparently though they do have some collections that are poured glue so I don't know why they have some on poured glue and some on uh, double sided adhesive um, it would be fantastic if, I mean I, I like the concept of the Easy Whim Club uh, I, I think it's a good idea um, however um, I think if they switch to poured glue um, it would be a lot better and you know if you've got poor canvas quality when it's poured glue um you can get away with it a lot better or if the canvas quality isn't that great you can get away with it better with poured glue anyway this is me finished my lovely let's go up let's go up oh I move this up there we go there's me finished my lovely horses gambling well, that's what lambs do, isn't it? Galloping, cantering <laughs> around the field. Um, yeah. Okay, I'll uh, I'll stop now, and uh, you'll get back to my little outro that I made earlier on. Okay. Anyway, um, yes. Thank you very very much for watching this video. If you have um, liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And um, if you could hit the subscribe button as well, um, if you haven't subscribed already, uh, I would love to have you uh, join me on uh, my diamond painting journey. And you might see me try and struggle with the other uh, creased um, Easy Whim canvases. Mm. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, um, Thank you once again, guys, and uh, I'll see you in my next video. Uh, cheerio.